Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're doing a final installment of the series with uh, Prison Talk. Marcus from Life After the Penitentiary's channel on YouTube. Go and check it out. If you want to learn about prison culture and all the rest, I would encourage you to uh, go and check out his channel and subscribe and uh, go through his videos, some of his older videos. Very interesting stuff if you want to learn how things work on the inside without all the theatrics. I know there's some YouTube channels uh, which deal with that same subject matter, but it doesn't seem as authentic to me as the way Marcus tells it, so you certainly want to go and check it out. Now the topics in the first four videos were with regards to how what might happen with prisoners basically in a post-disaster situation. After disaster, uh, what's going to happen to the surrounding community? Should prisoners be released or escape? Um, what sort of prisoners to look out for? and how are prisoners going to be treated. But in this last video, I was hoping that Marcus would shed some insight on how to survive in prison and just boiling it down to the most essential tips that he could provide with respect to how to survive in prison if it ever came to that. Because like I said in the last video, as much as you may be a law-abiding citizen, things can happen, you know. Uh, you could get yourself caught up in a road rage incident and perhaps you are the one who gets charged even though you weren't the one who instigated it or something could happen in self-defense you know maybe you did something in protest uh, to stand up for your individual rights and freedoms and regardless of whether it was unconstitutional you were charged and you were sentenced to jail so it could very well happen so i wanted marcus to boil down for me what is the most essential thing for people to keep in mind if you have to go to jail and here's what he had to say you know, it could be a split second that somebody makes a bad decision that lands them in prison. And that's why I say not everybody in prison is a bad dude or a bad woman. But, you know, we all make choices and sometimes those choices have certain consequences. But my number one advice for surviving in prison for anybody who's made a bad choice is um, just keep your mouth shut. You know, don't, don't go in there talking about your case. Don't try to buddy up with people, you know, don't um, don't try to to involve yourself with the politics in prison. You know, there are certain things you can't do, you know, you're not going to do because of just how things are being done in prison, such as if you're a white guy, you're not going to go sit at an all black table, even though you might have uh, hung out with a bunch of blacks on the street, unless you're part of that clique. I know some white guys that are that were cripping on the street. They went to the pen. They were cripping. I knew a guy from uh, a Mexican guy from down south. He wasn't a Serrano. He was a crip from Compton. So, you know, shit like that does happen. But, you know, for the most part, you know, you're not going to go and just sit at a black table. If I'm black, I'm not just going to go sit at a, a, a Mexican table. You know, there's certain things that you're not going to do. And as far as when people start asking you about how much time you got, don't tell nobody. You don't come in there talking about your time. You always say you're fighting your case or you're, you're on appeal. You don't, um, don't tell people about your background as far as a whole lot about where you came from because then they'll try to Google you to see um, if they can find out more information about you. You know, because if you're somebody who say you're, you did a, you know, you did something that got you caught up and then somebody finds out that your net worth is a couple million, man, motherfuckers are gonna get in that ass. They're gonna try to exploit your ass. I've seen it. I've seen guys in there that, um, that basically are, um, are trying to extort from another guy because they found out about how much money he's worth. And if they can get an address or find out you have family somewhere, they'll have a homie go out there and put the pressure on your family to kick down some bread. So you don't want to have your business out there by any means. Don't share your mail with anybody. As soon as you get your mail, you want to ha hide all your addresses, rip the motherfuckers off your, your mail so people don't you know, know where your people stay out on the street. Um, when you get pictures, don't go showing off your pictures to everybody. You know, there's a lot of things you want to do that keep you as low profile as possible. Um, in my situation, um, I didn't really have a lot of people on the street that was behind me, so I didn't really have to worry about too much of that as far as mail and stuff like that, because a lot of people just pretty much wrote me off. But as far as like the people that did keep in touch with me, you know, um, you know, dudes knew where I was from, but I didn't, I didn't share a whole lot about 
my 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 family situation or shit like that. You don't want to share like pictures of your daughters or your mom or or your wife with you know dudes who are you know you don't know what these guys' intentions are financially, whether it be hustling with, you know, whether it be sharing um, personal information with, you know, the less people know about you, the better. Um, and you know, if you hear people talking, don't be gossiping. You know, you see if you see things going down, you walk the other way. The less you know, the better. And mind your business. Don't get involved in gambling. Don't get involved in drugs. Don't get involved with punks. And what I mean by that is don't get involved with no homosexual activity. And don't steal. You know, those are the four things that will keep you out of trouble in the pen. And don't gossip. You know, don't gossip. Don't go repeating shit and, you know, things you heard because that will get your wig split. You know, talking about something that you thought you heard and it gets misconstrued or what they call um, a co-signing for somebody else who says something and they say, yeah, you, you know about, you heard that too, remember homie? And you're like, no, nah, I don't remember that, you know. Don't get caught up involving yourself with people's bit, uh, gossip and, and uh, business that doesn't concern you. And you know, if you do all those things, you'll be all right, man. You'll make it home and be back to your family. So I think this advice that Marcus gives is excellent, not only in terms of prison, I think it's probably one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard, actually, uh, with respect to how to navigate the prison environment and come out unscathed. And not only that, but just life in general, because what he says is quite relevant to, to life in general. You know, if you keep your mouth shut, if you keep your affairs to yourself, don't tell people all your business, you know, chances are you're going to be doing well in life. If you cannot get involved in politics, especially in the workplace, if you can not gossip about other people and not try to, you know, get involved in things just to impress people or, you know, if you can just keep your mouth shut, nine times out of ten, it's going to serve you well in life. So I think, you know, his advice here is excellent and bang on with respect to prison, but it's also great for everyday life. So I hope you guys got something out of that series. Go and check out the first four videos. I'll post links in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and Marcus's channel if you enjoy videos of this nature. Stay tuned on the channel. We got a lot of gear reviews, a lot of adventure stuff, and of course, a lot of discussion about the theoretical post-collapse environment and how we will navigate it. Things are getting pretty tense out there in the world. And unless we can come to some resolutions on the various issues that humanity faces, we're going to be in for a very bumpy ride. So all the more importance of staying prepared, staying vigilant, staying ready. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.